in this video i want to share an experiment uh, this is one of the experiments to find out what is the best and uh, most efficient way to propagate tomato plants you can propagate uh, many plants from one plant you may like to grow many plants from a plant which is growing well or producing quality fruit since the age of the daughter plants is the same as the age of the mother plant uh, the daughter plants are likely to fruit earlier this is one way of getting higher yields in a season and grow many more tomatoes than you would by using seed so mostly branches of tomato plants are used for propagation they are also known as suckers so we have a picture here in front of us three plants grown from cuttings of one plant uh, this uh, this is a commercially grown and sold variety here in Australian supermarkets. The mother plant was grown from a seed of a fresh tomato that I bought from one of the supermarkets. As you can see, I've used water as a medium for root growth. The age of the mother plant uh, at the time was six weeks. For all three cuttings, I used rainwater. This was to make sure that uh, there were no added chemicals in the water such as chlorine or fluoride. I prefer to use rain water for all my plants anyway. Uh, all three samples were submerged in 300 ml of rain water. The pH of water for all three cuttings was 6.8. And I'll repeat the, uh, I'll repeat the experiment with different levels of pH soon. The size of all cuttings, uh, each was uh, between six, 5 and 6 inches and they were very healthy. The average highest day temperature was 28 degrees centigrade during the experiment and the average lowest nighttime temperature was 7 degrees centigrade. And as you can tell that this much variation in temperature is not ideal even for established plants but you can see that the cuttings have really done well. So first cutting was submerged in rainwater container as soon as it was taken off from the mother plant. The water in the second container had one sixth of a teaspoon of Epsom salt which is technically uh, magnesium sulfate. Magnesium is an important element for plants uh, and the cutting was submerged in the container as soon as it was taken off from the mother plant again. For the third one, the stump and lower portion of the cutting was dipped into a powdered root growth hormone called butyric acid before being submerged in the rainwater. Uh, the hormone is not water soluble but some of it uh, sticks to the stump and sides. All three samples were placed outside where sunlight could not reach them directly but it was an open space with a roof on top. On the seventh day, tiny roots began appearing in all three samples. However, there was a marked decrease in the volume of water in the sample that had Epsom salt added to it. This is the eleventh day of the experiment, i.e. 1st of December 2016. Note that I live in Australia which is in the southern hemisphere and the tomato growing season where I live it starts in October and runs until following March after which winter starts to kill the plants. So let's have a look at all three samples. So this is the first one, the one that was submerged in plain rainwater. You can see that cutting which is now essentially a small plant is uh, reasonably healthy although it shows no signs of stress but note that some of the leaves are starting to show a yellowish color. Uh, which is more prominent in younger leaves. Uh, this is essentially a lack of chlorophyll in leaves, certainly a sign of lack of nutrients. You can see that roots uh, that are visible are looking healthy and are pure white in color. This is the second sample which was submerged in rainwater with Epsom salt or magnesium, sul magnesium sulfate as it, as it is known as chemically. Uh, in my opinion, uh, this one has shown the healthiest root growth. The number of roots 
is double the number of roots in the earlier sample you can see that all leaves are lush green and very healthy there is no sign of lack of chlorophyll uh, this is the third sample this one also does not show any sign of nutrient deficiency and the leaves are still very green and healthy uh, unfortunately it is not a good picture of uh, roots however the root growth in this sample is better than the plain rain water but it is not better than the sample which was submerged in water with epsom salt and the and the roots uh, did show some yellowish color on it so i don't know whether that was because of the uh, chemical that was used uh, as a root uh, growth hormone or it was because of uh, some type of uh, nutrient deficiency uh, the size of the roots is more than one inch now most of the roots in all three samples and i will uh, plant them either in the container or in uh, soil outside where they'll be exposed to full sunlight so outcome of this experiment is that both growth hormone and epsom salt are better to use for root generation if water is being used as a growing medium uh, and this is for tomato cuttings i'll repeat the experiment to confirm uh, we'll also try some other techniques and we'll keep you posted thank you for watching